What's up, Gunplum Modelers? This is Strider Prime, bringing you a new edition of Gundam Customs. And today, I'm going to be building both of these kits that you see here. The MS-05B Zaku-1, from the Principality of Zian's Mass Production Unit, and the MS-05L Zaku-1 Sniper Type, from the video game uh, Crossfire that came out for the, I believe, the PlayStation 3. I think so, yeah, PlayStation 3, exactly. I've had these uh, Zaku ones for quite some time, and uh, I have to say that this is one of those underappreci uh, underappreciated mobile suits that you don't remember seeing a lot, you know? We were, we're all saturated with the Zaku 2s and all of its variants and, and whatnots, but I think uh, the Zaku-1 has, has been one of those mobile suits that we don't see that much out there. Granted, with the release of the Sniper, it was it, it, it had renewed uh, you know interest in a lot of people. Um, but you don't see that many vari variants out there. You really don't. Um, the only, I believe, variant that I thought that, w that it would have been nice to see is a high grade or maybe a master grade was the uh, Kamuf, but then I was reading <clears throat> reading some information on the Kamuf, and it's basically the Zaku 2 inner frame turning into um, a GM wannabe. Um, and of course we all have been, uh, we've all seen the Zaku 1 Master Grade kit, which is an old Master Grade. Um, we've already had the Zaku 1, the Zaku 1 uh, Rumble Raw version, and then the Zaku 1 um, Black Tristar version, variant. So, there's only like three of those variants out there. And then, obviously, there's the um, uh, high-grade versions. The Origin Kits has, you know, those uh, Zaku 1s from that series, Chars and, and uh, I think Cassilia. I could be wrong. And uh, you also have uh, that Zaku 1 from, um, from Thunderbolt. But I think we should not. We should see more. Uh, you know, Bandai should work on more Zaku ones. You know, I, I would really like to see more variants of the Zaku one because it's. It, it may be mass produced, but and I know that they probably focus on the on the. Um, on the uh, Zaku two, considering that they you know they mass produce those parts all over the place. But I think the Zaku one should be also uh, having a, another variant. Sniper has been like, of course, one of the most unique versions of this line of uh, Zaku's. And I know there's a, there's another variant that escapes my mind. I'm kind of remi uh, reminded from the video game um, Battle Operations 2 because there's like variants of Zaku's all over the place. Um, but it would be nice to see a new variant of the Zaku 1. Um, but that's a story for another time. Today, I am going to be building these two guys. Originally, I was saying, what should I build? Should I build the classic 2006 uh, Zaku 1? Or the same one that came out that same year, but as the Sniper? Uh, I could have sworn this came out before, um, a couple of years before this, but I guess, it, um, I guess maybe not. It is using the same frame. And I know that there's another one of this uh, for the uh, unicorn version, which has those um, in the chest part. There are these two little straps designed to like hold up the Zaku while it's in a um, aircraft firing. And there's like extra containers on its backpack, which had extra rods. So once one rod is done, it replaces the other one, so it can continue firing, which is a neat scene from that anime. So I was I was debating should I build this guy should I build this guy this guy and, and I kind of realized you know what they're both the same kits let's do both let's uh, tackle both of these guys and uh, obviously paint them and obviously detail them so what do you guys think It'd be a cool idea to do something like that let's review Zaku the original Zaku one here so yeah this is the classic Zaku one. Uh, it, it can do that weird, you know, ramming speed pose 
using its uh, uh, left uh, sorry left shoulder going up against the, uh, the Gundam. It comes with a lot of parts here. You have the Heat Hawk, you have the machine, uh, the um, Zaku 1 machine gun. This is not the Zaku 2, because it, the 1 is the one where the clip is on the side. Uh, you have the bazooka, which is kind of weird. I don't know if it's actually a single shot bazooka or a multi shot bazooka. Then you have a Stem Faust, and then you have you have the shield that actually goes on the shoulder, but it's actually ref it's actually used as a um, as a buckler type weapon, a hand weapon. And then of course you have the mobility there. You could see it has a com it has the um, the ability to put in a commander helmet and then movable uh, eye socket, so you could see, you know the eyes can go left and right. Let's look at the contents here. Here's the classic Zaku right here. Very simple design. We'll review the manual later on. The weapon set here. The bazooka, machine gun, all that stuff. And the frame parts I see. Then we have the green parts. Very good. This can't tell if this is actually part of the Zaku 2 that they put on the Zaku 1, but somebody's going to tell me, no, no, it's not like that. Here's the, the shoulder shield. So clearly this shoulder shield is not one piece. You have to glue it together, sand it down, and then put it on. I, I don't know if this is the one where... Yeah, yeah, that should be easy to do. I'm playing, I was just thinking something out loud. And then we have the the other parts, the blue parts, the hands. It has multiple hand joints there. Here's the other joints, the trucker parts, and then the poly cap. I'm gonna have to say that, despite um, you know, how unique the kit is, I am not a big fan of this blue and green um, motif. This pa the, this pattern is not one of my favorites. Maybe that's probably the reason why I was never a big fan of the Zaku one. But then, you know, this was like years ago, of course. And then you, as the years pass, you learn to appreciate the overall design. And it's, and it's uh, simplistic. It is a, simpli a simplistic mobile suit. There's also, you know what, I kind of forgot that there's actually a Zaku from the anime that I remember. There was a Zaku one, I believe, in um, eighth MS team. I'll have to review that. One. Look at that. And see if there's anything different, or is it the same guy? Now, sniper one or sniper custom. Sorry. Um, here's of course the scenes from the video game. And of course, what it looks like with its beam, with its uh, sniper beam rifle. It has some more unique parts and hands. It's better to hold. The backpack is unique. I like that. And interestingly enough, this one is different from this guy because this has, a, you know, the mono eye right there. So you see actual detail. That's not on the original kit, of course. This is this is a brand new kit. Can't I don't know if the parts on this is identical to the parts on there. Maybe it is. Maybe it is not. I don't know. I can't tell if this is a new mold, but we'll review that soon enough. So this is a tan color design, which is good. We have some of the parts, some of the darker, um, I can't say black, could be dark charcoal. There's a regular gray, dark gray there. Here's the sniper rifle. We have the, the arms, the head right there. We have the backpack. We have the umbilicals. Some joints here. Backpack is very neat. It does come with a, a um, machine gun. Ooh, what's that? I think that's a machine gun. Because I see a grip there. Or is that part of the sniper rifle? 
I can't tell. So we have the tan and then brown color tones. Here's the sticker for the mono eye and the weaponry. Then we have poly caps, feet, legs, parts, and multiple hand joints. Let's take off the, the manual, of course. So it does come with the Zaku machine gun, as it says there. Let's review the manuals and see what we have to work with here. Alright, here are the manuals. We'll begin with the Zaku 1. So, let's look at the parts. Uh, can you utilize everything except for three polycaps here? You have the assembly of the of the chest, and then there's the head, and then the optional parts of either making it a commander type or a standard grunt suit. And as you can see, there's that little part right there that only you have to do is put a black black tape over. Oh, sorry, black uh, sticker on it, and then put another sticker on it to make the uh, mono eye. I gotta figure something out about that. Hmm. Just uh, thinking out loud. Then we have the assembly of the weaponry, machine gun, bazooka, and then the spike shield. Then we have the arms, both left and right. But of course, the left arm has the extra part, so you could put on the um, the um, the other shoulder shield, the, the shoulder. Yeah, the shoulder, yeah, the shoulder armor, because the other one doesn't have the shoulder armor. And then we have the assembly of the legs, both left and right, the waist unit, skirt armor, waist armor right there to connect it both together, and then the placement of the weaponry, how to hold up the heat hawk, how to hold up the Sturmfaust, uh, how to put away the Sturmfaust and the shield, um, how to hold the shield, of course, and then how to pose it. How to pose the bazooka, which is unique because you have that extra part that it has like a shoulder part there that you that you put on the uh, bazooka, uh, the bazooka, and align it up like that. It feels like a disposable bazooka. It really does when you look at it. I gotta find out if there's a history of this weird bazooka, with and how many ammo it has. It, it could be like two or three rounds, but yeah. And then, of course, here are the poses, the detail in action, the armaments. And then you have the paint guide. We have the blue, the green, the grayish tone, a purple tone, which I'm assuming has to be the weaponry, and then the yellow. Uh, I think the yellow is the mono eye, right? I didn't pull out the sticker, but I can't tell. I don't see any other parts that's yellow, other than it has to be the mono eye. Oh, no! So I think this is for the bazooka, or is it the mon? Uh, you know what? Because I see the yellow here on the machine gun, so I can't tell what that is. Maybe somebody can explain. Because I'm not seeing purple or yellow there. It's a pink eye. Giggity. <laughs> now, sniper type mass production mobile suit. Let's go here. So I see one, two, three, four parts that are not required in this kit. The chest part looks almost identical. You know what? I should have. Let's take this. And then take this. Okay. So same shoulder connector. 
same front chest plate, same back chest plate, or chest back, you could say. And then the same connection for the shoulder, the poly caps, and the placement of the, of the actual um, joints. Uh, the only difference is a, a different chest, uh, chest plate in the middle, that's one. You don't get the unique uh, two thruster backpack that's on this one because of, you know, the bigger backpack has, I believe, all that stuff. And then here is the assembly of the, of the head and the detail parts of the mono eye. That's actually really nice with an antenna and all that stuff. Sniper rifle assembly. That's nice. Let's keep that there for a few moments. The arm is identical, both the left and right arm. The same, so pretty much it's the same arms, the same chest, with a slight modification there. Um, the, I think the legs is the one that's unique, because it has that, that knee part that allows you to bend down easily. can't tell about the waist unit though but then you also have the that that massive Ghostbuster backpack to connect the um, the sniper rifle and here it is in action posing it and of course you have the machine gun there the detail of the backpack images from the game line art oh that's actually really nice that line art See, I would like to see that as a master grade. Hell, I'll take an RE, uh, RE100 any day. So let me just do a quick... Re let, let's go back to this again. So it's basically the same shoulder, yes. Skirt armor is the same, other than the fact that it has a unique part there. Side skirts are different, but the front skirts are the same. Um, this shoulder part is different because there's a there's a unique line there. Unless it's on this kit, and I haven't even noticed it. Uh, no, that's like it's 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 smooth, while this one has this pattern there. Okay, fair enough. Um, so even though the chest part is identical. Not identical because it has these two little sl slashes there, while this one has nothing. Uh, thigh armor looks the same. The left arm, the left leg, is the same as this kit. The only problem is the right leg. I guess this is the one part that's on this kit that's omitted, so you can have this part here, so it can bend down. Feet are literally the same. There's nothing new there. Nothing different. And I think the arms are the same. So it's basically, like I said, yeah, the same kit. The only difference is, though, you get this new, this new, this whole part, front part new, the backpack new, um, this part new, and obviously this guy new, and the head's new. Wow. So, yeah, I'll pull both of these. There's no big deal. Yeah. But, besides building... When I'm going to paint it.